welcome to week two of my Making It Work series. And this series revolves around my work week. Uh, last week I did four different days. This week I only work three. So I'm going to use um, the same palette, the same blush palette, um, three different lipsticks, the same um, brow mascara and the same mascara. I um, am very simple when I go to work. I do not use any primers or any foundation. Don't use any concealers. Um, that's just the way I roll, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to put you in a little bit farther while I show you what I've got here. Um, first thing I used is, I'm going to be using this all week, and this is the Jordan Jordana Fabu Brow Shape and Set Gel in Dark Brown. And I'll tell you already, last week I used my Rimmel and I liked it better. This one here, the color uh, doesn't stick to the mascara wand very well. So it takes quite a few going back in and taking out to get any color on your brows at all really. Um, not near as happy with this one as I was last week. So far, today's only the first day. All right, the next thing I used um, is my, I think it's Well People Expressionist Mascara. And again, not near as happy as I was last week. Last week I used my what did I use? Um, my Mott um, It's So Big or something like that. And I love that mascara. This one here, I'll show you the wand, is um, smaller. It doesn't have the bristles. But, I mean, the bristles that it does have are very sharp. And so if you get too close to your eyelid, it hurts. But, and it didn't do near as much, um, it didn't do any lengthening or... Um, volumizing like I wanted it to. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this mascara. Um, I'm kind of kind of going through my mascaras and I've got way too many of them open right now. So I'm going to um, be weeding out some of them. And I think this is probably going to be one of those. But I'm going to keep at it this week. Okay, so for my eyeshadow this week, I'm using the La, La, Pat La Palette nude 2 by l'oreal very pretty palette it's got some rosy colors in it which i am loving at the moment what i used today was this for my base which i will probably use this most of the week and then i used uh went in and did this one it's kind of a, a pretty sparkly brown today whoops right here this one um they Let's see here. All they do is have numbers on the back. So, okay. I will show you my eyes. That's such a pretty brown, I think. Okay. For my um, blush, I'm using my Tarina Tarantino. Sorry to blind you there. Hello, there you are. Um, and this is the Doll Skin Cheek Palette. And this came broken. So they refunded me. This one here is completely gone. There isn't anything left. That was completely shattered when I got it. So they totally refunded me my price on this, which was awesome. This is, I've had this all year. Um, end of the year last year, maybe. I got it from Holt Look. So today I used, there's two mattes. These two are matte. Whoops, these two are where am I at? These two are mattes. Um, this one here is pure matte. This one here has got kind of a, like a satiny finish. This one here has got some glitter in it, and that's the one I used today. Some sparkle. Very pretty sparkly. Okay, show you my cheeks. Um, I usually don't have a whole lot of luck. Uh, first of all, I wash my face and moisturize. Um, I usually don't have a whole lot of luck in 
my uh, blush staying all day because I don't, you know, it stays better if I have foundation on. Anyway, going on to my lipstick. I am using the uh, Burt's Bees uh, color in 530 Lily Lake. And it is, looks like this, the outside of it. I have three of these, so I'm going to use one each day today. Or this week, sorry. This is what it looks like. This is kind of the darkest one that I have, I believe. But isn't that beautiful? That is such a pretty color. All right. I'm finally getting, or I'm just getting the hang of this. I did not take pictures every day last week. Like I said, I did, did film every day, um, but I did not take pictures every day. So I'm gonna kind of do try to do screen maybe like a screenshot or something. Um, anyway, I will talk to you guys with our Hi tomorrow. Hi guys, this is Connie, and welcome back to day two, week two of my making it work. And um, today, I am a hot mess today. I just wet my hair down. Um, I don't like to shampoo it every single day because it gets super dry if I do. So I do every other day um, and wash my hair. I started out with my same, I'm, which I'm using every day. It's the Jordana um, Fabu Brow Shape and, and Shape and Set Gel in Dark Brown. I'll let you know Thursday of my thoughts on that. Wednesday on my thoughts on that, not Thursday. Um, and Well People Expressionist Mascara, and that's in black. It's in, it does not say really, but it is black. It's very black. I'll show you though. Okay. Then on my eyeshadow, this week I'm using the La Palette Nude 2 by L'Oreal. Today I used, which I will probably use every day, this is my base, sorry. Uh, and then today I used this color, um, very light, kind of brownish tan color. I thought that was really pretty, you know, because I'm saving the best for last. <laughs> my favorite for last. Okay, so then for blush, I'm using my Torina Tarantino uh, Doll Skin Cheek Palette. Today, and I used, today I used this color here, and it does not tell me names or anything of shades, but that is the color that I'm using. Hopefully you can see that well. It's kind of more of a peachy color. And today on my lips, I am using the Burt's Bees Blush Basin, number 501. That's what it looks like. Let's see here. I can find the. I just love their their packaging. I just think it's so clever. But this is such a pretty nude, such a really pretty nudie nudie mauve color. I would almost say. So my eyes, and my cheeks, that side. Um, I did wash my face and moisturize, but, you know, um, without foundation, my blush does not stick super well. So, um, so that's the way it goes. Um, Talk to you in my next video. Hello, everybody, and welcome to my day three of my, <clears throat> excuse me, my work week. And, um... This is the last day of my work week. So next Monday, we will be starting a new one. So I wanted to talk about what I wore today. Uh, first thing I did was wear, and give you my thoughts on the week. Uh, first thing I wore was the same thing I've been wearing all week as the Jor Jordana Fabio Brow in Shape and Set Gel in uh, Dark Brown. Um, this was okay just okay it takes a lot of um, you have to go in to the tube a few times with this it doesn't pick up a lot of product I, th I think it's the actually it's the um, I don't know 
I was thinking it was the spoolie on it, but I just don't know. It just doesn't pick up a lot of stuff. Um, I like the one I wore last week so much better. <coughs> Excuse me. Next thing I'm going to talk about is what I've been wearing all week, and that's the Well People uh, Black Mascara. This here, um, the spoolies are very sharp. The, the tips of the spoolies are very sharp. If you go in too close, that hurts. Um, you have to work on it. It does make my lashes look good, but it doesn't do great things to them, like um, the one I wore last week. So I'm much more impressed with that one than this one. Um, the beginning of the week, I talked about that I didn't like it at all that I thought I was probably going to pass it on, or not pass it on, but, but throw it away. Um, I think I'm going to give it another shot because it does work. The more I used it, the more I got used to it. So it, it's okay now. Um, it does make my lashes very black. It, does, um, it doesn't clump. That's a, that's a big thing for me. It does not clump, but it doesn't, also doesn't volumize or lengthen. Um, as far as I'm concerned. So that is Well 3 People. The next thing I'm going to talk about is my La Palette Nude 3. And that's my L'Oreal. Today I used this, as usual, I use this every day. And then I used that rose color here. And that is a matte rose. Um, isn't that beautiful? That is just, that's the most beautiful color. I'm really into the roses and stuff now, the colors. So I really love that. The next thing I used, um, anyway, talking about this, um, it is very pigmented. It, a tiny bit powdery, but really not much. All in all, this is a very good palette. Um, I'm, whoops, I am impressed with this palette. Uh, I like the colors a lot better in this one than I do the, the nude one, which I will use at a later time. Uh, that one's a lot more neutral. I mean, this one here is neutral too, but it has the roses in it, which I said that I, I just, I love those colors. No. I mean, that's kind of my jam right now, I guess you'd say. <laughs> anyway, um, a good palette for the money. This one is the blush palette I used was the Tarina Tarantino Doll Skin Cheek Palette. And like I said, I got this off a of Holt Look, and it came broken. This one was completely broken. Um, so I wrote to them, and they gave me a full refund, which was good. Um, so today I used this one, which is the pinkest one. Um, the, the, um, this is a very good palette. Everything, uh, is very pigmented. Um, you have to use like kind of a light hand with this stuff, but it, it stays on pretty good. Nothing stays on my skin all day unless I have foundation on. Um, it just kind of disappears during the day, but this does last quite a while. So all in all, it's a very good palette and I love Tarina Tarantino. Okay, the last thing I used was my third Burt's Bee lipstick. Here are the other two that I used um, the other two days. This one is this color, and that is in 502 Suede Splash. This is my least favorite of the three. It's more of a brownish nude, and I like the more pinky or mauvey nudes. Um, this one here is pretty. It's really pretty, but um, it's my least favorite. But I have found that these lipsticks really last a long time. For not being matte, they last... Um, I still had some on after I ate. So, and that's um, usually two to three hours after I go to work. So, they last quite a while. I do have, I do reapply after supper, but then they last me till I get home. So they're a good lipstick. Very good lipstick for the price. I'm impressed, actually. So anyway, I am leaving a little bit early. It is I don't have to go to work. I work four hours um, on Wednesdays. I don't have to go to work till 4.30, and it is now 
1.30. I have an interview at 2 o'clock, which I am very excited about. It is for the Bureau of Revenue, or Department of Revenue. So, and it's a senior secretary position, which is exactly what I want. I, The more I go, the less confident I'm getting because I just keep getting rejected time and time and time again. But, I, and I really do want this job, but I don't hold out a lot of hope, but I go in positive. And I think positive thoughts, I say positive things. Um, hopefully, you know, I've got a lot against me. I've had a lot of jobs in my life. I've um, been in trouble with the law uh, for, uh, which I'll talk about some other time. Um, I've gotten fired from a job. So, you know, I've got a lot going against me. Plus, I'm 60 years old. Who wants to hire somebody that's going to retire in a few years? Which I'll never be able to retire <laughs> the way I'm going. But, um, you know, that's true, though. Who wants to hire somebody that's going to retire in a few years? They want somebody that's going to be there. So, cross your fingers for me, please. Say a prayer for me. I will let you know how it goes. Have a good day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.